Hello everyone, welcome back. In continuation of the lecture series of A's, we are going to get some more basic detail about the integration because A's is all about the integration or IIB is all about the integration. You can say that. The in lecture series, if I called a IIB because mainly IIB is easy to speak or that you can consider like that as a A's. Okay. Uh, but I will try to speak it is okay app connect enterprises the, If you are talking about the integration integration is nothing if you want to uh, there is a two system There is system a and there is system B and if you want to uh, communicate both systems system a and system B then We need to integrate each other. Okay, the integration is all about the connecting two system there is system one and the system one if you want to con connect these two system then it is all the about the integration but if there is system two system then we can connect each other directly also then why we are we, we are require integration integration also help us to uh, facility about the transformation of the things apart from that with the help of transfer uh, with the help of integration we can uh, convert one data type to other so let's take example if there is a person a and there is a person b okay person a knows hindi only and the person b knows english only then if how can they communicate each other similarly you can say that consider like that the system a knows xml only and the system b knows idoc only then how they can communicate each other this is the reason we have introduced the integration because integration help us to communicate two system the if you uh, talk about the hindi language if a person a know hindi and if a person b know english then we can use the translator we can use the uh, just one minute we can use the translator translator help us to translate the Hindi to English and English to Hindi and with the help of person A and person B can communicate each other similarly if there is a XML person A can send and person B is expecting to uh, IDOC only then we use adapter adapter help us to transform one message format to the other message format if you are coming to definition the integration is about the establishing a communication between the two different system who want to interact again i told you if there is system a and if there is system b and if they want to interact then it is called integration and because e per system a what the system a is sending that system b is not getting uh, is not able to uh, understand it that season we used to uh, do the integration so that system B can understand it the similarly if system A is sending XML message and since system B can get can can understand only IDOC message in that case we used to do the adapter adapter help us to uh, translate the XML to the IDOC then adapter is a program that help us to take the care of the message conversion and transformation now what if we do not use the iib what will the situation happen i have i have i have taken two scenario there is scenario one and the scenario two this is the scenario where we are not using the s and this is the scenario where we are using the s in case we are not using the ace and there are consider like that there is a application a application b application c d e f and these all application have and are able to understand different different language if application a send a some message application rest of the application cannot understand that message if this message will send the size rest of them cannot able to understand that message in that scenario we need a adapter to so that this can 
uh, this can translate the adapter can translate the message to the so that application the data application can understand that then it will be a complex flow how because for this if it is sending message to the all application there should be a one adapter required from this to this from this to this from this to this from this to this and this to this the so from for each application nearly five adapter is required for this also five adapter required for this all five also five adapter. the total five five ten 15, 20, 25, 30. Total 30 adapter is required for the simple flow. Then if there is a 100 application, the consider how much adapter is required. And it will be a very complex flow. Then to resolve this issue, we have introduced a yes. Or you can say that IIB. Because here, up to here, concept there is no uh, more. This is the basic concept of IIB, so you cannot say that, that it is the best simple concept. Okay, the, he, here I have just introduced IIB, and these are the application that is present here. It this can send a message to this, this, these all five message. What will happen here is IIB. What IIB will do once. Uh, this application will send the message to here it will transform the message and send into the different different system as per their requirement if they are this is uh, uh, understanding json this is understanding idoc this is understanding uh, <coughs> different message consider like that edi format then what will happen this application will send just send the ma XML message to here and IB will do the conversion of different different message different different format to different different applications as per the code logic and the code written for the IB is the ESQL extended structured query language okay so that's the simple design of the IB or it is also called a ESB that is enterprise uh, service bus because that the flow is simple and any application can send the message to the IIB I will take that message do the conversion as per the business requirement what is the business requirement you will uh, understand in the later section uh, it can be a different different scenario that the I need the message in different format and the message in this in different format and that can be a business requirement as per the business it will transform the message in different format and in what format it requires to the different different application that adapter will help us to transformation so this is all difference between what we not using the IIB and what after using the IIB if you don't use the IIB, a lots of adapter adapter will be required and it will be difficult flow and even we cannot do the conversion like that the, some transformation is the message some modification in message but if you use the IIB, you can do some modification transformation and conversion of the message and we can do send also message in the different different format now that's all about the introduction of the IIB or is hope you have enjoyed the video again if you have any doubt you can just comment me you can send me email thank you thank you all